Whoa. You're back. Good. What can I have? Oh. Man, this whole thing's a takeover. A takeover? It's not a strike. You're not being let in because there's nothing to negotiate. The union is taking the terminal. If they're taking it... Green livery. Changing into red. Blot by blot. Like a cancer of the blood. Metastasizing. Then we're talking about a war. Evrat needs to let me into the harbor at once. We need to talk about this. He's ready for a war. They all are. They most certainly are not. Cronell has a thousand men on their payroll. The next batch will be a platoon of 20 men and a gunship. I've seen the Union's forces. They are better organized than these mercenaries. They also have the support of the people of Relashol West. It will take more than Cronell to wipe them out. Wild Pines will need to send more and better equipped men. Make no mistake, ma'am. I am sure you have the money. The question is, how many years and how many lives are you willing to sacrifice? What do you suggest I do? Whoa. <laughs> Look at your wrist. It's apocalypse o'clock. Time to commence the gloaming. <laughs> First, will this affect your decision-making process? Everything affects the decision-making process, detective. Officer? For once, I don't seem to know what the right thing to do is. Cut off the snake's head. Evrart's pushing all this. Bring everything you have and wipe them from the face of the earth. I wish there was a disco option. I'm afraid we won't disco our way out of this one. I have an idea on which one I want to do, but I'm curious to see what chat wants to do. What's your option? I'm not going to say mine because I don't want to sway it. Huh. We're on the same, we're on the same wavelength. Like the previous leaders of the Union were assassinated. I suspect by Evrard and Edgar themselves. I admit there's some poetry in the idea, and like poetry, it's also useless. There would still be Edgar. They factored it in. The Union is them, and they are Martinez. What are you gonna do? What will I do? Her arms fall to her sides. Her spine relaxes. Did I ever tell you how they discovered this Isola? During our reality lowdown? You said you would one day. It may be the only break we've ever caught as a species. The last one for 400 years. Why? The nations who colonized this Isola called theirs Muindi, the world. It was all they knew, all they thought would be. That there would be something more was a gamble, akin to another world, or life after death. The Pale was thought to be impregnable, perpetual. Irene la Navigateur, the Queen of Siren, sent eight expeditions, one after the other, into the mass at the edge of the world. Five of the crews did not return. Two did, but had lost their minds. Eight? Is that a normal number? It was anything but normal. There was no precedent. People thought she was punishing the admirals, or had gone mad, or both. Until after years of trial and error, and the development of a strict psychological regime imitating the creation process of poetry. Called Volta Doma, or Return from the Sea. The Eighth Expedition returned sane and intact. They told of a new continent of matter. They told the Queen and her counselor, Dolores Day, that the Pale had begun to condense day after day, hour after hour, minute after minute, slowly raining down until it formed a vast ocean. The air is cold and scented with petrichor. There are rain circles on water all around. Humidity crawls up your back like a piano trill. Put your hand in the rain. So does the lieutenant. His mouth is slightly open as he looks to the sky. The droplets feel warm like spring rain. This ocean? The phenomenon has never again been encountered. For a time, the crew thought they were experiencing a hallucination. The mass hand proclaimed, 
Lancelinda, Lancelinda, the signal to wake up. Huh. But they could not. They were sane and conscious, as islands began to appear on the horizon. There are 78,000 uninhabited islands in the Insulindian archipelago, officer. The freckled face of God. 78,000? You've thought it a million times. After life, death. After death, life again. After the world, the pale. After the pale, the world again. A total shift in human comprehension of reality. On the second day, a great skewer was shot down above the flagship Lizargique. The bird was preserved and brought back, along with pollen. Four Ooh. years later, the Queen's counselor was proclaimed her innocence, Dolores Day, the elected world spirit. The age of humanism, internationalism, and parliamentary rule followed. We were high. This was the last break we got? The nations of Mundi proceeded to discover five more Isolae, or they discovered us. All in the rush of the great inter reconnection. But these others weren't uninhabited. We had to kill people there. Wipe out indigenous populations. Gunboat economies. Or they came to do the same for us. Or had done to each other. But here, there was no one but the skewer. The Liliat Sea, And the Blood Beach. And the River Esperance. It was the new, new world. The Mondials used it to amass the greatest concentration of wealth mankind has ever seen. Revachol. The Suzerain. What happened? Revolution. Poverty. And the mercurial rise of capitalism. Thank you, uh, Noglitos. I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you for your two months. Thanks for being here. Leaving us here. On Caillou. The Pebble. The largest of the fertile, uninhabited islands of the northeast Insulindian archipelago. Four centuries and two revolutions later. It's raining. It is. Soon it will be spring and everything will blossom. The gangs will run wild, jacking motor carriages, ferrying amphetamines through Cold City. Spring is tough in Revachol. The Great School was the first bird they saw? The first living, autonomous organism. Proof of reality. It's the symbol of Insulinde, Detective. The coat of arms of the suzerain and the wings on the crest of the commune. I seem to have it in for it, or it for me, I broke one. In your defense, it is a nasty creature who plucks food from the throats of lesser birds. Yet much like Revachol, it is also magnificent and rare. Imagine the suzerain of seagulls. There was a sting in your heart at the mention before. When she said its name. What will you do? I will surrender Terminal B to the Union. Is that within your means? She puts her hand in the rain. She's silent for a second. We will see. It is. It is well within her authority. It's been clear for some time that this woman is more than she lets on. Ma'am, this may well unravel property law this side of the river. If that occurs, we may never see the end of this kind of confrontation. The next time there will be two strikes, then four, then a hundred. What happens will happen. The age of capital has only begun. I will talk to my employers in person. We will amputate and cauterize Martinez. If you handle the situation on the ground. We? There are no employers. She's a member of the board. Probably a partner. You are the Wild Pines. There are no employers. You are the citizens' militia. There are no superiors. What? Of course I have superiors. That's right, Detective. And next time, you should confer with them before you go setting events in motion. Despite his words, he's not really sure whether to be annoyed with you or not. Events are already in motion. Whether your actions accelerated Whoops. or momentarily <laughs> retarded their progress, even the lieutenant cannot really say. Even after all this time, I still don't really understand who you are or what your angle is. I have not deceived you. I told you exactly who I was. Rejoice, Layton. You're going now? Yes. Mr. Clare has a two-month head start. 
I can't let it grow any bigger. And I've exhausted all my options from here. Understood. Keep the peace, and I will keep my end of the bargain. How far along is Cronell's investigation? A confrontation is imminent. They have followed in your footsteps. As your investigation reaches a climax, so does theirs. They are your shadow. Arm yourselves. Armor yourselves. Protect their targets. Violence may be unavoidable, but we can limit the casualties. When will they make their move? Where? Soon. I do not know precisely. They have cut off all communication, you see. They know I've been feeding you information. One last thing, Lieutenant Dubois. I've given the matter much thought and come to this conclusion. You're not an amnesiac. You're insane. I know, because I too am insane. I just hide my illness better. And I'm rich. Isn't everybody a little insane? No, detective. No one's as insane as you. Don't worry, madame. I am very sane. You're overradiated? I'm overexposed, baby. My travels take me through the pale dozens of times a year. I've got the longing. And I've got it bad. She would die to return to it. The pale. The past. Anything one can return to. How do you keep it together? The same strict psychological regimen the 8th Admiral developed when he crossed the Pale and discovered this Isola. The Volta do Mar. It's used by inter-Islary travelers and other troubled souls, even to this day. You could use a little of it yourself. Goodbye, nether creature of the Forbidden Swamp. <laughs> Goodbye, Rejoice Layton. Watch out for yourselves. They will strike soon. The lieutenant watches her boat grow smaller on the bay, its white sails fluttering. With worry in his eyes, he does not know if it was the right thing to do, but he doesn't say anything. You wonder what Everard has to say about this. Slowly, the sails turn grey-blue as more oxygen gets between you. Damn, dude. Woo! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Speak with Everett before Ruby? I think we will. We're gonna have to do another night, too. We gotta talk to uh, the Hardy Boys as well. Greetings on this fine night. Boom. Let's go. Greetings on this fine night. Nope. Still no clue. You obviously haven't been doing enough drugs lately. Greetings on this fine night. Feeling warm and enthralled by the movement of light while the mind continues to race forward. Lucky bastard. He's probably on Parolidon. It's tough to come by on the street. What's that? A drug developed by the military to treat and prevent radiation sickness. It has psychedelic side effects and it makes your eyes turn yellow. Is it just me or is it really warm in here? Look around. I try to keep the shop at a comfortable temperature. There's a note of indignation in his voice. Interesting. Those triangle patches on his vest. You have a feeling they mean something. Like they're similar to the halogen rectangle on your jacket. What's with the triangles on your vest? I was. I was with the emergency relief brigade. You know, after the people's pile disaster. <laughs> Had to take Peroladon for radiation sickness. That's what you were hinting at just now, wasn't it? He's taken for mental and emotional, not physical pain these days. People's pile? What was that? A bad idea. Some poor leftist built a particle decay generator in hopes of bringing affordable electricity to underserved communities. It malfunctioned. 
Radioactive waste everywhere. Probably some of it in you, too. Ah. The People's Pile was a Type U particle decay generator that failed immediately after entering service, releasing radioactive waste into River Esperance. It's a particle decay generator. A primitive nuclear reactor, also called a pile. Why is it called the People's Pile? Because it was for the people? Construction began during the commune of Revachon. Yeah. The people continued work on it after the commune fell. They wanted a cheap source of energy for Revachol West. Needless to say, things didn't work out. Why'd it fail? An emergency valve defect resulted in steam pressure blowing the turbine. Oh, an emergency the valve, no less. the vessel up in the explosion. Both the faulty design and lack of finances contributed to the catastrophe. Tell me more about it. We were an all-volunteer force, self-organized, tried to help the fire brigades contain the spill. On the patch, gamma radiation lines crossed with a red drop of blood. I lived by the river since I was a small boy. The Esperance didn't have the art to let it all go to shit without trying to do something to help out. There wasn't much the volunteer force could do, however. We wasted years in the river mud. Years getting sick. Must have been tough to clean it up. There's a reason why everyone's tried to forget any of it ever happened. And why no one has tried to repair or replace the pile. So much disappointment. An early death. Cancer mostly. And we knew all that was coming even as we were cleaning up as best we could. Whose fault was it that the generator failed? No one's. Everyone's. So much bitterness. A bunch of poor people built themselves a primitive nuclear reactor, hoping for the best. What do you think is going to happen? Damn, dude. I did up running a pawn shop. The cleanup happened 15 years ago. I was young then. Later, my second aunt died. Left me this shack and all the assorted junk in it. So I came to Martinez. People told me don't go there. It's a shithole. I said, people, we just had a nuclear pile meltdown. I'm gonna get as far away from Forberg as I can. Still in the same city, but... I like the theory more than the story. Outward movement, not vortices. Yeah, you gotta get in on those vortices, my man. Want to share some? Have you tried it before? It's almost like he's worried for you. The lieutenant steps away, pretending to admire some of the knickknacks on guy, display. Good guy, Kim. Looks like hey, he Hellfire. doesn't want to get involved. Go ahead then, he thinks. As long as you can walk straight, I don't care. He won't be your knock, but he won't be thrilled about this either. I haven't, but don't worry, I can take it. If you say so, here you go, man. A large cap-shaped object on the palm of his hand. Very odd looking. Yes, darling. That's the coalition government ordained Parolidon. Straight into your gut. Not so sure about this. Thanks, man. Take it. Wait, why wouldn't I be sure? Because it's an anti-radiation drug and you're a cop. Not a post-apocalyptic scavenger. But I want to be. Take it. Of course. Okay. Ooh, I got my, my cap. Oh, wow, can I, I can almost dress like a policeman now. Almost. Nice. Kaneka, you heard him. <laughs> I think I put on the wrong jacket. Yeah, Celtic, I think you're right. Mm, there it is. Ooh, ooh, let's go with the jacket. What's the best? We actually look respectable. Fantastic.
Ah, they're gone. Dang. Okay. Freaking running around with my gun out. <laughs> oh, team, that's rude. Do 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 I go to bed with my gun. I'm sorry, I thought this was rubbish all. Save it. And go. Did I locate my gun? I did. Light Spirit. Hey, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you. Good, uh, good vibes to you and your boyfriend. I was going to get this game, but now that I'm going to watch the playthrough, I don't know if it's worth it. It is 100% worth it. Yes. If nothing else, if you actually do watch the entire playthrough, consider supporting the devs and getting a copy. Also, not only that, but um, there are tons and tons of different ways to play this game than I did. So do your own playthrough with your own type of investigator and see where that goes. Uh, but no, absolutely, absolutely. For any game that I play, if you enjoy watching the whole playthrough, consider picking it up from the devs. That's how we get more cool games is by supporting these guys. So definitely do it. But yeah, for this particular game, for the record, there are so many different ways to play it than I did. Different orders cause different reactions, different stats give you different options. Just, just straight choices as well. So yeah. The bed is still cold from the broken wind. That's weird. I wonder where she was. The unchanged linens are only getting greasier and greasier. Every time you crawl among them, like some wounded animal, you close your eyes and ask for sleep. Just some hours of regular sleep, please. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's easier this time. Drifting off, your head has found a comfortable indent in the pillow. Your legs and your torso feel like Lead weight sinking to the bottom of the sea until they're suddenly light. This respite, you've earned it, brother. Bask in the darkness. Let it swallow you up and swivel you around while you forget. Everything you've managed to remember. Is this the last stream? No, this is the one before that. We'll just keep cycling it for you if you don't mind. As long as we can. Spin it like black yarn. Enjoy it while it lasts. You're welcome, Harry boy. You earned it. After centuries of darkness, the alarm rings. But what's this? You actually feel rested. There's no time to cuddle with your pillow, however, or as much as shiver from the cold. The world awaits. <laughs> wow. Actual really good stuff. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face adorned with the expression. Still not happening. It won't come off that easy.
A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. It's like something snaps in you. A nerve ending. A thought. A sadness. Your face in the mirror is suddenly clean of the layer that had distorted it for God knows how long. Just like that, it's over. Oh. The running gag that your life had become. A sad old man looks back at you. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, well, thanks, chat. I do look more serious. I kind of like that. Um... That's kind of cool. But we're going to go with it. We're going to go with it. I wonder if Kim's going to be like, you look different. <laughs> Fix the faucet. It's only a three chance, man. I don't think that's happening. Yes. 